Welcome to the packages area. This is where you can create all kinds of packages, which we'll get into in just a second. First of all, if you want to start taking payment, we'll need to either create a Stripe account, or if you already have one, connect your existing one to MyPT Hub. So let's hit the button to set up your payment processing and get going. This will take you to the Stripe page where you can either create an account by adding your information. Alternatively, if you already have one, you can connect it through logging in at the top of the page and hitting connect Stripe account. Once you've done this, you'll be navigated back to the packages area where we can get building. So a quick overview of the packages as a whole. You'll notice the search and filter functions are still apparent. If you hit the create package button at the bottom of the page, we can start creating a package. The initial page of the package builder asks you to add your package details, including a name, a short and long description so your clients can understand what they're buying, and any promotional material you want to attach, such as a video or an image. Once you've added all the information you like, it's onto the assignments tab. This is where you can attach any content you want your clients to receive once they've bought your package. From workouts, nutrition plans, programs and files, it's all possible. The client group section is a management tool and filters any clients that buy this package into a group. This is really useful when it comes to marketing to your client base, as you know these clients are looking for a similar product or service. So when you're happy with your assignment setup, let's take a look at availability. The first choice you have here is whether you want to make your package public, private or client only. Public means anyone in the world can buy it, whereas private packages are only available to clients who you already have on the software. Client only will give you a link, which anyone with that link can purchase the package from you. The final choices you have on this page is all about where you want your package to be available for them to purchase, and whether you want to invite some clients to buy the package, which will send them an email. The pricing tab is the final area, and whereas you can set up a whole host of different payment options, whether you want your package to be free, paid for in a single payment, or an ongoing recurring subscription style payment. This is where you can make it all happen. You can even stipulate how frequently you want the recurrence to be taken, along with those recurring payments to be indefinite or not. The other controls here allow you to limit the amount of times a package can be purchased, and whether you'd like to attach any sessions or credits to this package. Finally, you have your price input. This is the price your clients will pay for your package. If you have a package set on a recurring basis, please make sure the price reflects what you want your clients to pay each time. When you're happy, hit the Create Package button at the bottom of the page, where you'll be navigated back to the main packages overview. Alongside your new package, you'll notice the menu icon, where you can gain access to a range of actions, including a share link. This is where you can get everything you need to market your package, whether it's a text link through a button on your website, or a custom URL to share on your social media channels. We've got you covered. There's a couple of other areas I'd like to show you at this point. The first is the vouchers tab, where you can create a vouchers for your clients to redeem against your packages. Simply hit the create voucher button at the bottom of the page and work your way through the creation process. You can set up your vouchers to either a percentage of or a specific monetary discount. In addition, you can also change how frequently these vouchers would apply to your clients' packages. Once you've created a voucher, you'll be navigated back to the overview page where you'll find a familiar view of the item created along with the menu icon on the right hand side offering your actions. The financials area within My PT Hub is also key to gaining insight into how well your packages are performing. When you land in the financials area, you'll see graphs showing you the gross volume, successful transactions and subscribers over the last week. You can change the time frame via the buttons in the top right of the page. The next tab along, Billing and Invoices, shows you the payments you've collected, along with the subscribers created within the timescale you've set in the top right hand side of the page. In the Balance and Transfers tab, you'll see Pending and Available. Your pending balance is the net total of monies that you've taken since your last payout. This will sit in your pending balance for up to seven days till the payments have cleared where it will then move to your available balance. But you can change this directly with Stripe. Underneath the available and pending balances is a timeline of transactions, transfers, and any other actions Stripe have processed. The final tab, Receipts, is where you can create and store any receipts when you accept cash or check payments. 